Like wildflowers, you must allow yourself to grow in the places people never thought you would. Hi, I'm Linda Watson Call. Thank you for joining me in this episode of Dragonfly Soup. Today is the first Sunday of April. We've completed the first quarter of the year. How are you doing with your goals? Right on target? Ahead of the game? A little behind? Please don't say you've hardly started. One of the hardest things of setting goals is getting started. The next hardest is to keep going. We hit a wall. It could be a wall that we put up or a wall that someone or something else put up. Walls exist. I would be lying if I said I never hit a wall with any of my goals. I have plenty, too many to count. And some of the walls seem insurmountable. The higher I climbed, the taller the wall got. The more I tried to break through, the thicker the wall became. But no matter, if you are passionate about your goal, eventually you will break through. Thinking of goals as walls makes the entire experience feel more like a task instead of an adventure. I like to compare goals to flowers, and my favorite one is the ever-hated dandelion, the most misunderstood plant that I can think of. Dandelions are actually great plants, highly nutritious, filled with vitamins and fiber, we really should consider it a vegetable, since it is quite edible. But do we? No. Every year, many of us are quite determined to stamp out those dandelions, eradicate them completely. But do they die? No sun? No problem. No rain? They still grow and bloom. Herbicides may slow them down, but they regrow. Why? because they have a long taproot, a 10 inch or longer taproot. Talk about determination. Talk about having a good support and a passion for reaching its goal of growing and blooming. Now, think of your goal as a dandelion. You feel that your goal is something that you should do, something you are very passionate about. So what's going on in your life that's keeping you from achieving this goal? What's keeping you from breaking ground and blossoming? Just like a plant, your goal started as a seed in your mind. You nourished it with good thoughts and felt it taking root. You knew a little water and this seed would take off. It doesn't matter what your goal might be, writing a book, losing weight, getting a healthier diet, finding a new job. Every goal starts the same way, as a seed within your being. So you're proud of your goal, you're happy about it, you mention it to a friend or family member, thinking that they would water or help your seed grow in some way. Do they? Or did they try to stop your seed by withholding the water or support? possibly even trying to kill it before it could grow by throwing herbicides on it, saying things that made you doubt yourself. And you start thinking, oh, maybe I can't write that book, or I probably don't have the willpower to change my eating and exercising habits, or I have a good paying job. Why am I even thinking about finding a better job or position? And so you feel like you have two choices. You stop talking about your goals to these people or you give up on them. Well, if I know you, you decide to ignore those people and not mention your goals again. Or maybe you went out and found a different group of people who could be supportive of you and your goals. So now as you work on your goals and get some good support, your goal starts to grow just like that plant. You start to break ground, and then wham! Here comes more herbicide. But this time, it's a little different. This time, it's coming from a different area. Maybe you actually finished writing that book, but you are having a hard time getting it published. You have been eating better, 
but the weight isn't coming up like you'd like it to. Or you've been doing a job search for months, but every position that looks promising is filled before you even get a chance to apply for it. Some of these obstacles feel like your plant, your goal, has hit the pavement instead of soft ground, and you wonder if you'll ever break through and see the sunlight. In your heart, you know you can't quit now, but in your mind, you may be wondering if it's worth it. But this goal is your passion. So you look to yourself and your support group for encouragement and maybe alternatives to help you break through. And suddenly it does happen. Someone in your support group has a connection to a publishing house and offers to send your book to him. Another person is skilled in self-publishing and can help you set your marketing efforts. Now, instead of a wall, you have doors you can choose from. You can take the time to evaluate and make your decisions. Or maybe your health coach revises your diet and exercise program. She noticed where your weight plateaued and suggests a different way to prepare your meals and new exercises. Now your calorie count has changed, your body uses up more fuel, and you're back on your way to optimum weight and well-being. Or after some soul searching, you decide you really don't want to do the same job you're doing with a different company. So maybe those missed opportunities were really saying that you need a change, a bigger change than you originally thought. Now, instead of looking for a new position, doing the same work, you plan to expand your vision and start your own business as a consultant. This way, you can pick the companies that you want to work with. Or maybe you're looking at becoming a trainer, engaging with others, and getting paid to teach them how to do the work you have so much expertise in. A slight shift in vision, but essentially the same goal. The whole thing is, no matter what is thrown at you, regardless of the obstacles, in spite of what others say or do, you keep at your goal. As the author E.V. once said, like wildflowers, you must allow yourself to grow in all the places people thought you never would. So when you hit a wall, feel like everyone is against you and you'll never reach your goal, be that dandelion. Grow and bloom regardless of the circumstances. And I'll see you next week right here on Dragonfly Soup. Here's to our transformation and our best year ever.